So prom season is right on us. And we want to look today at some of our top sellers. One of the things we sell the most of is the rock candy bracelet. Here we're featuring it today in the iridescent variety. The iridescent really brings in that fun transparency. You can mix it. This is Alyssa and you can see the variety of colors that comes, that ribbon comes in. And then it also has a little bit of that iridescent edge. But so you can bring in the iridescent bracelet and then use the ribbon to pull a color up. And then I'm going to be using some of the Regal rhinestones in the iridescent. It's a little bit larger rhinestone. And then we're just going to come in. So I start by adding the bow onto the wristlet. And so we're going to go through the process and make one of our corsages today featuring some of the coral and lavender tones, adding in some of the lambush grown begonia. And we'll just take a look at how we're going to put that together. To start off, we're going to make our bow. Uh, this is a ribbon called Alyssa. And I don't start with a center loop, but I just come and go forwards and backwards, just doing that simple twist in the middle to be able to create loops. Uh, many times I see people do really teeny loops, and by the time they put the flowers in, the whole ribbon is lost. And I'm utilizing the varieties of ribbon to be able to add the color of the gown into the bouquet. Here I'm just going to use the ribbon itself to tie it off so I don't have a wire that's potentially gonna poke my prom customer. The next thing I'll do is take the ribbon, tie on here, and we're gonna cut it and then pull it as tight as you can. Here, then I'm laying the ribbon in and I'm going to tie a double knot on to attach that to the wristlet. Now I can just do a little bit of spacing with my ribbon and then come in next with my leaves. So my leaf preference is a fresh Israeli Ruscus. I'll take about four leaves and cut the ends off so that I end up with them all the same size. I'm going to take a U-glue strip and cut it into a little strip for one side and then a strip for the other side. And I'm just going to glue that right onto the plastic platform my foliages and I attach with the U-glue and the floral elements I will glue in with the floral adhesive. So we come here, tap in the foliage, tap in the foliage, the other side, tap it in and tap it in. Then next we're going to start adding some of our floral elements. In this case I'm going to start with our spray roses and remove any of the guard petals and just tuck them upside down so that they're prepared, ready to go. I'm going to add some of the hypericum. Even on small pieces, texture is very important. And the last thing, um, I utilize the Green Trick Dianthus as a stabilizer and also to hide any glue um, that I might have. But when you put the spray roses in, the, they may turn. And so you can utilize that Green Trick underneath it to be able to stabilize those roses in your design. I'm adding about a fingertip worth of glue there. So a significant amount of glue. I'm going to come in and put the glue on both of those elements. And then I mentioned that we're going to use some of the begonias that we grow here at Len Bush. It's a local grown product. And I've used those and also Calendiva and Calancho 
blooms in my corsage work and just adds an interesting element and it can add that local flair that that younger customer sometimes is concerned about. So now we have those prepped. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna start back with the roses. Bring it in, touch it in, and then pick it out and put it back down. So the glue sticks to glue. And here, touch it in, pull it out. And then coming in, placing in some of the begonia blooms. Just tucking them into the bow. When I'm using a sheer bow, it'll capture that glue and be able to adhere in very well. Now I'm just gonna add some final accents here with some of the green trick coming in. Adding that other textural flair and lastly coming in with some of the hypericum. add that other more waxy texture so lastly we want to add some of the regal rhinestones and these are great and what I do is I'll cut it off then I'll twist with my jewelry tip a little landing pad that I can put glue on and that way I can tuck it in right up into the middle of my corsage and really make them be prevalent and stand out These have a much larger gemstone and really bring that iridescent from that bracelet right up into that corsage. Here we have our completed corsage. You can see the great mix of iridescence coming in from the bracelet to the regal rhinestones that we added, and then the ribbon that really captures that iridescence and pulls it all together.